criminals. Calm down. Calm down? You saw what Erica and her stooges did to me in there? My grandmother just died, and Erica won't let me grieve for her. It's not fair. She has no right. She has no right at all. Grieve in private. I do it all the time. No, I am. I'm going to go back in there, and I'm going to tell Erica and her friends exactly no, what I think of them. Don't. You are only going to make matters worse. Why do you care? This is my fight, not yours. Because I just can't stand it. To watch you and your mother battle this way, it just hits too close to home. If they're going to put you through the ringer in public like they do, I, I, I just don't want to stand by and watch. I remember the public humiliation that I suffered from my mother. I remember every time she did it to me. It doesn't seem like Erica enjoys it as much, but Wilma certainly did. Our mothers have hurt us both very much. I don't want to see you go through any more heartache. Why should I go back in there and give Erica that? Your grandmother knew you cared about her. Isn't that what really counts? Thanks for caring. And thank you for being the only one who understands. It's okay. It's the least I could do. I owe you a lot. You're keeping my secret. You don't have to worry. Your secret's never been safer. We have to stick together. Are you sure you're okay? how I manage. I always do. You better get back inside. Trevor's probably wondering what's going on. Don't worry, I'll think of something to tell Trevor. Hey, Kendall, I'm very sorry about your grandmother. Thank you. Wait a sec. Can you do me a favor? Sure. Will you say goodbye to my grandmother for me? Don't you think it'll seem kind of odd? Please. Erica wouldn't let me. I, I, I never even met the woman, but I, I'll try to find a, a moment alone. I'll go say goodbye for you. I will. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. I didn't see you pull in. Parked on the street. Well, then you, you just got here, right? Was that Kendall I saw you talking with just now? Oh, you're probably wondering what Kendall and I could possibly have to discuss. <laughs> well, yes, I was, actually. Well, it just so happens that I just single-handedly prevented the crash of the Titans in there. Oh, really? Yeah, Kendall and Erica were really about to go at it. Well, the two of them are like gasoline in a match. I'm just surprised that you would stick up for Kendall. She says I stuck up for her. So you've said. I just didn't want it to get ugly in there. Everybody was just standing around waiting for the fur to fly. I couldn't stand it anymore. <laughs> Sounds like you saved the day. Well, I'm not sure I'd say that, but I think I did a good thing. Any other questions? No. Oh, good. I've got one for you. What are you doing here? Did a friend of yours die? Yes, Mona Tyler. Oh. I'm very sorry. I hear Mona Tyler was a, a really great lady. But do you think Erica really needs to see you right now? I mean, she's just lost her mother. The last thing she needs to do is be reminded that you lost your husband thanks to her. Oh, I get it. You've come to drive your point home. You just want to twist the knife into Erica. Actually, that's not it at all. Oh. Well, far be it for me to judge. Excuse me, I've got to go find Trevor. It's just I felt sorry for Kendall. I mean, first she got hurt in the tornado, and then... Well, I just didn't want to see her cause a scene. I wasn't taking sides or anything. Good, good. I just got nervous you and the heart attack were starting to get chummy, you know? Oh, heavens, heavens no. I just didn't want her to mar this. I guess I'm a little oversensitive since I lost my daughter. Yeah, well... Look, you, you hang in there. I'm going to go try to make up with Erica. Good luck. Thanks. You don't know me, Mrs. Tyler. But I promised your granddaughter, Kendall, that I'd say goodbye for her. 
So, goodbye. I know she loved you in her own way. I hope that you can understand and accept that. I think it would mean a lot to her. 